Hello everyone, again, here we are again for our third video. In this video, I will do my best to be quick as possible. I will be applying the bootstrap on the vManage and then the vBond. Okay, so we'll do the same process as v on vManage. So once it's loading, I will stop the video and I will be back. Okay, let's launch if it's smart. Once you start booting, I will stop the video. Let's make sure. Yep. Yeah. Here we are. If it's smart, I forgot to mention I'm using the version 20.3.6. So the login is the same. I'm choosing um, admin as a new password because this is a lab of course in the real environment you have to put a secure password right so we're gonna do the same I got the bootstrap here ready for the vSmart on this time the system IP will change to the one the one the one the two the vbond IP remain the same this configuration remain the same the IP will change to 10.0.0.20 slash 24 for the transport VPN and for the management VPN will be 192.168.48.20 slash 24 okay so I'm gonna get this into the VS smart done so we can do a test from the V smart from here we can ping here so let's have a look so in both ways so I'll use the 192 and the 10 okay to see if I can ping this interface here and this interface here okay okay let's do it. this is the VPN 512 to management 192 48.10 yep I can ping through the management I'm going to do the same for the Give some space 10 dot ten oh. sorry dot ten and I can ping so now we're gonna bring the free bond online oh we're gonna apply also the bootstrap and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it on the V bond and I'm gonna launch. Because I'm doing one by one, it's really it doesn't really take long. And there we are. It's done, it booted. So you might ask. You you mentioned V bond but you see VH. Okay, V bond and VH they share the same image. So when you apply the bootstrap, you will see you have to change the host name. Okay, so if I had to put my login admin here before this message would fail when I put my password, you have to wait to see this message here. Just ignore about the time but we say system ready okay so if you do enter so admin admin and again again okay so now let's bring the bootstrap for the viewpoint you can see the system id is the one the one the one the three is on site one because it's the headquarter they're all on the same site okay So here the interface um, is G1, VPON has a different interface. And uh, here I'm specifying saying this device is a VPON only. And uh, this is the VPON IP. And I'm also given under the interface. And uh, this is our management interface IP, okay? enter and done 
so now you can see let me clear all this now you can see the name changed so now we can do a test let's ping fee manage 48.10 i can reach let's ping v smart i can reach now this is through the management interface let's go for the transport dot 10 i can reach dot 20 i can reach perfect now let's do the same test as we did with the view manage we're gonna bring the powershell and from our or from my laptop i will ping only the management ip okay of vsmart so to free oh, it does not like this so so now and the fee point dot 30 yep i can reach can we ssh let's give a try to 20 yes admin and i can see i got access to v smart let's do the same to v bond yep perfect i have access for all these so now the next video i'm gonna bring my linux box that's gonna add my root ca to generate the certificate for all these um sd1 controllers all right and i hope to see you in the next video thank you so much